today, we scored 99 yard touchdown with Josh Allen in every Madden he's ever been in. Josh was drafted in 2018, which begins our journey in Madden 19. As a rookie, Josh was a 74 overall. You'll see today that Josh really hasn't got much of an overall boost as you'd expect throughout the first few years in his career. He has a rookie 74 overall, 81 speed, 72 strength, 84 agility, 87 excel, 62 awareness, 66 break tackle, that should be higher, 58 trucking, 63 elusiveness, 81 ball carrier vision, actually kind of surprised that's so high. His stiff arms only 53, his spin moves only 54, his juke move 77, his carrying 64, his jumping is 81, but even as a rookie, his throw power was 99. He has 79 short throw accuracy, 77 medium throw accuracy, 74 deep. So as you see, his accuracy was a problem. 84 throw on the run, 73 throw under pressure, 78 break sack, 81 play action. So like, yeah, to be fair, some of his accuracy stats is a little low, but he's a rookie, and the rest of his ratings are pretty freaking solid. I mean, 81 speed at 6'5", 233 is not bad at all, especially when you combine it with 99 throw power. Now, what weapons did he have back in the day as a rookie? He had LaShawn McCoy, who was still at 90 overall. A wide receiver, he had Kelvin Benjamin. Okay, that's why they weren't that good his rookie year. Jeremy Curley, Zay Jones, Andre Holmes. Yeah, his wide receiver core by the end of this video is gonna get much better. But also, what we are gonna do to spice this challenge up a little bit, the first few Maddens that he's in, we will throw a 99-yard touchdown pass to the score. But Madden 22, to end off the video, we're gonna have to scramble for a 99-yarder with Josh Allen. That might be a little bit difficult because he's not the fastest man in the world. He'll have to break a lot of tackles. Now, I guess to do this, once again, we just do random team. We'll click it once, and we're gonna come up against the Chargers, who are an 88 rated back in Madden 19. And yes, today's challenge will be played on all Madden difficulty. We'll probably just come out and try some different plays, but as always, it'll be the same throughout this challenge and every other challenge that we do on the channel. The defense is gonna come out in random plays, so we have no say whatsoever in what the defense runs on a play-to-play -play basis. Wait, why is AJ McCarron in the game? Was AJ McCarron the starter by the end of Josh Allen's rookie year? Wait, why in the Madden death chart is AJ higher? Like, why? I mean, Josh is a high overall. That doesn't make sense. Oh, look at the legend, boys. And guys, if you missed it, make sure to go click the link in the description box below to go check out this video me and MMG did over on the Game Day channel. Let me tell you guys, see how this game started. It is literally the most craziest game I've ever played in my life. You can click the link in the description box below to go check this out. Comment on the video. Let me know RBT sent ya. All right, boys, we got the timer going. Doesn't really mean anything, just for show, so you guys can see how long it takes to score each touchdown. And first play, I, I mean, I guess it just really doesn't matter. We just chunk it up each time, and that's not the 99 order. Like, who do we actually try to get this to? Jeremy Curley or LaShawn McCoy? Like, do we try a screen pass or something? Like, on the run here, or we can just... Bro okay, oh, okay, that's exactly what we're trying to do. All right, a minute and in. No real luck just yet. I mean, like, in this instance, do I just, like, chunk this down the field to somebody and hope somebody can do something wild? Honestly, maybe five wide really isn't the move. Maybe we try some sort of play action or some sort. Maybe I just, I stick to my plan of just chunking the ball deep and hoping we freaking get lucky. I mean, finally, a minute and 25 seconds in, we made a catch. Oh, this could be the one. This could be the one. Kelvin Benjamin. Okay, we did not lead that throw as far as we needed the two. He still made the catch, but that could have been the one. Come on, Josh. Have 99 throw power, bro. Lead him down the field. Here, like, LaShawn McCoy. Can he break up the field? Broken tackle one, broken tackle two. Oh, okay. Now these are where we have potential. Literally everybody's playing up. It looks like they're blitzing everybody. No deep safety. If somebody can beat one of their DBs deep, this can be the challenge completed for Josh Allen's rookie year. Kelvin Benjamin. Okay, Kelvin. Kelvin, break the tackle. Kelvin, one. Kelvin Benjamin. Oh my God, he's so slow. He's so slow. Oh, I'm so sad, dude. What is this man's speed? No wonder, dude. 85 speed. Look at the speed of all of my receivers, bro. How do you not have one receiver over 90 speed? Mixing up the plays a little bit, just trying to get different looks. I'm just going to keep chunking the ball deep, and uh, Kelvin Benjamin's probably definitely going to die there. I mean, you're one-on-one, -on -one, bro. I mean, if you can go up, make the catch, do that, and break another one, you didn't break the second one, but a valiant effort. I mean, Kelvin's making some good catches. He just isn't fast enough to break away. I don't think I've ever seen this receiver as slow as I saw earlier. Okay, now I'm freaking running out of bounds. And again, just hoping for a prayer. That wasn't my prayer answer. I'm telling you, Kelvin, I know you're not going to let us down. Eventually, you're going to make this catch and break two tackles. So, guys, not going to lie, a little shock. It's just taking over five minutes. They're blitzing everybody here. This could be the one. It's just one-on-one, -on -one, bro. You need one broken tackle. There, there's one man miss, and we're doing the doggy with him. Six minutes in, dude, and I already feel freaking helpless. Kelvin, 
break that tackle, Kelvin Benjamin. Don't you let him re-catch up with you, dude. What, what, what is going- What was that? What was that demonic nonsense? Hold the phone. Let's pause this timer. Like, honestly, I'm more mad than happy I scored that because that was just dumb. Like, hold the phone for a second. This entire time, bro, like, what are you doing? You're inside of his body. You can make the tackle. It's like Kelvin Benjamin didn't even register that Jason Verrett was inside his body. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, that's definitely a dub in my book. On to Madden 20 where Superstar X Factors became a thing, but for some reason, Josh Allen still didn't have one. So in his sophomore campaign, Josh Allen still hasn't cracked an 80 overall yet. Like, Bills fans I know were screaming at the ratings adjusters. I mean, there's sometimes in instances like this, like, how did Josh Allen end year number two and he's not even an 80 overall yet? I mean, it is what it is, dude. It's freaking mad and don't take it seriously. But also realize we no longer have Nathan Peterman, so take it how you want to take it. 84 speed, 72 strength, 85 agility, 87 acceleration, 76 awareness, 78 break tackle, 59 trucking, 83 elusiveness, 91 ball carry vision. So a lot of these ratings are going up even though his main overall didn't go up hardly at all. So a lot of these ratings did get a boost even though his overall rating didn't go up much. I mean, 81 juke move carrying I think actually went down. I don't know why. Throw power still 99. His short accuracy 78. His medium throw accuracy 79. His deep throw accuracy 76. Throw on the run 87. Throw under pressure 78. Break sacks 87 and play action 81. I really don't know how all those ratings add up to be a freaking 77. Who's his weapons now? Oh, that's great. 95 year old Franklin Gore. Devin Singletary, TJ Yeldon. We have Cole Beasley and John Brown added into the mix and offense. Like, where did the receiver core from last year go? Like, this is a completely different group. Robert Foster, 94 speed. Hopefully that comes in handy. Oh, guess what? We've already got to the point where our goddamn game is freezing. Can I just go one day without some stupid freaking nonsense from this stupid billion dollar company? God dang, dude. Maybe this time we can get a little bit worse of a defense we come up against, and it's gonna be the Jets. So, yep. See if you just play number one. They still had Jamal Adams Adams this year out there roaming in the secondary. This was the year we had the freaking like random red lines in practice mode for some reason. Play number one, I mean, he caught it, but not necessarily the objective. Now we do have 94 speed Foster in the slot now. I might just throw the ball to him here. Hopefully he can make the catch and get past the DB. Let's go, dude. That's what happened. When you have Madden Speed on your side. Dub. Bro, that already takes us to Madden 21. Did we freeze again already? I've been on Madden 21 for four seconds. I said earlier I want to go one day without nonsense from EA Sports. Right now I want to go ten minutes without some nonsense. It's taken like five minutes for this loading bar to get all the way to the freaking end. My god, dude. What's the problem? So finally a pretty big improvement from Josh Allen from a 77 to an 88 overall. Went from a 75 to a 77 to an 88 so that's a pretty big dub but what you do notice which is so silly to me how did josh allen not in last season with an x factor he did have superstar for the first time in his career though he does come in at an 88 overall 86 speed 76 strength 85 agility 88 excel 86 awareness which is like up from 30 from his rookie rating 80 break tackle 73 trucking which is up quite a lot which it should have been 82 change of direction 92 ball carrier vision 78 stiff arm 62 spin 81 juke 57 carrying. I still don't know why that's so low. 90 jumping. Throw power still 99, which it should be. It's Josh Allen. 88 short accuracy. 84 medium. 87 deep. By far the best those three have been the entire video. 94 throw on the run. 84 throw under pressure. 92 break sack and 87 play action. So if ratings aren't aligned, this should be the easiest one yet, right? What weapons do they have now? Still the same running backs. They added Zach Moss into the equation. Drafted him a wide receiver. They got Stephon Diggs. We're gonna make sure we score this touch down with them. Cole Beasley had a big improvement. John Brown, pretty big improvement. Had a few young guys as well. So this one should be pretty easy money, I think. So who are we rocking up against this time? The Vikings. I mean, they got Harrison Smith lurking back there. But it could have been worse. We're in a main three deep for our first play. How are we supposed to score against this dude? I mean, I guess we just chunk it deep, but that's just a horrific start. Oh, great. Now he's got a freaking glowing X underneath his body. That's fantastic. Um... I guess, again, we just chunk this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, please, I'm so upset. Okay, maybe, just maybe we can get outside here. Stephon Diggs, to be fair, is kind of clamped. Made the catch. If he could have broke that tackle, that could be the one. Come on, Joshua. Roll out right here. Oh, my God. Wide open. I should have lofted that. He breaks the tackle anyway, and he falls, and he trips. I'm sad. This is the first time I think I've ran this, like, deep post in any of these videos. Okay, Joshua, we're breaking a million tackles. Stay up. That would have been poetic. Boys, finally a setup where I think they're going to be blitzing. Stay in this pocket. 
and we just we just freaking ran out of bounds. And like, we get a good throw. We get a good throw. Finally, dude. Two minutes and about 30 seconds is gonna take for Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen to hook up for a 99 yarder. And boys, with that, now it's time to try and scramble for a 99 yarder with this big beefy boy. I feel like I'm about to be sat here for hours. Madden 22, like the worst ever Madden game of all time. So the most up-to-date Madden ratings has Josh Allen at an 87 overall. So like no growth at all. Like what the heck? But he did get an X Factor finally has Bazooka, which he should have. I mean, he's Josh Allen. He's the only quarterback in the league with 99 throw power. Patrick Mahomes doesn't even have 99 throw power and has Bazooka X Factor. Like, how does that make logical sense? 87 overall, how is he not a 90? 86 speed, 76 strength, 85 agility, 88 excel, 82 awareness, 80 break tackle, 73 trucking, 82 change of direction, 92 ball carrier vision, 79 stiff arm, 62 spin move, 82 juke move. His carrying is still so low, like, it doesn't make sense. He doesn't fumble that much, I don't think. Jumping's still a 90. That throw power's been a 99 ever since he came in the league. 87 short, 84 medium, and 86 deep throw accuracy. Those accuracy ratings actually look very similar to how he ended off last year. I don't know if they've changed a little bit, but it's almost exactly the same. 93 throw on the run, 86 under pressure, 94 break sack, and 87 play action. Now, we all know his weapons still Devin Singletary and Zach Moss, and that receiver we have, Stephon Diggs, 96, still have Cole Beasley. They added Emmanuel Sanders. You still got Gabriel Davis and Isaiah McKenzie out there, but all we really care about right now is them blocking, so we have to scramble for this 99 yard. Now, this is where I would love to come up against the bad defense that can't tackle. We're going to come up against a uh, defense that doesn't have any healthy players, but too bad this is freaking Madden. Once again, yes, on all Madden difficulty, it is going to be an arcade mode, so if you see some extra broken tackles, that's why, but it's just all in fun. What do you think I'm trying to do? Prove I'm a freaking professional Madden player with these videos? Nah. Let's just get this freaking timer going, because we might be here for a few hours. Good thing is, though, Josh Allen's so big that he's probably going to break a few tackles each run. I said that he didn't break one first play. All it comes down to in these challenges, man, it just really takes that one lucky play to get that one nice broken tackle in open space and have some bad pursuit angles from the defenders, and then you can break that 99 yarder. It could take one minute, it could take 10 seconds, it could take five hours. All it comes down to one. Broke that tackle, couldn't break the second, but at least we got five yards for the first time today. We at least get out of our own end zone? Okay, Joshua, no way this is the one. This would be beautiful. Oh, okay. But that, my boys, is what Josh Allen can bring to the table. I do have a feeling, though, whenever Josh Allen does break this run, it's going to be a pretty nice highlight. Probably like five or six broken tackles on the same play. I mean, he's so freaking thick and beefy. Oh, my God. Is it... Did that run get ended by us tripping over a blade of grass? Let me pause this for confirmation. I mean, we could have possibly brought that one to the house, but I really do think we just tripped over a freaking blade of grass. Like, everything is just going absolutely swimmingly. Then you just trip over a goddamn caterpillar. Come on, Josh. You have no problem breaking a tackle from Calias Campbell, but yet you can't get past a freaking caterpillar. I'm expecting big things, Josh. Maybe on this play, to bring the safeties on a blitz. If we can get past that first level, we could be gone. And we, we did make it past the first level. If we can get blocks down the field, there's so many Ravens in my path that I just knew it was impossible, but it still kind of looks sexy. And unfortunately, we just we just killed a man. Who really does tackle Josh Allen one-on-one -on -one every time? It's I mean, a pretty difficult task like this one. Oh my god, block downfield! 26! Turn around, you idiot! Turn around! Okay, he made a block. He actually made a block. Everything works in unison. Oh my god, get away from me! Let's go! Josh Allen with the 99-yard scramble to end off today's video. Like, to be fair, though, that wasn't quite nearly as sexy as I wanted, but hey, guys, I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be sexy. It just has to be effective.